you'll see that this one's totally different from the other ones. In this case, if we factor out a 5, we can't because there's no factor of 5 here for the linear term or in the constant. But I'm still going to take away a, a negative factor. Uh, it's going to be easier to work with. So I've taken out a factor of negative 1. You can think of that. Um, again, we have a trinomial, so two binomials. We're going to need two binomials. Um, x and x won't work because this is 5x squared. So x times x gives me 1x. So if you look at the 5, you got to think about two factors that will give you 5. is 5 and 1. And so 5 and 1, we're going to put a 5 over here. And the 1 is already present there. We'll try that. And for the signs, well, negative, because this is the linear term, we put a negative there. And negative times negative is positive. So that's our trick there. Now we take 4, and we've got to think about what factors 4 has, 2 and 2, and 4 and 1. Let's try 2 and 2 and see what happens. If we put 2 and 2 here, we already know that 5x times x gives you 5x squared. Um, and negative 2 times positive 2 gives you negative 4, so that works. What about the linear term? Let's see. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And 5x times 2 gives you 10x. And that gives you 8x, which is not the middle term. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's try the other factors. And we'll see if that works. The other factors is 4 and 1. So let me put 4 here and 1. And let's see if that works. Again, this is trial and error guessing. So we're, we're doing our job right. 5x times x is still 5x squared. And negative 4 times 1 gives you negative 4. But the linear term, what does that give you? So negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And 5 times 1 gives you 5x. Pretty close. This gives you x, a positive x, not a negative x. So that's not going to work either. So um, we can keep on going. Let's say negative 5x take away and then x plus. You might say, well, we'll just switch the numbers. Put a 1 here and a 4 here. Well, let's see what happens. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1x. You can say that. And 5 times 4 gives you, wow, 20x. And that's going to give you 19x. So you might say, wow, so what can we do now? Well, because this is a very um, unsystematic way of doing these problems, we got to continue on. We got to think of another way of doing this. Maybe it's not factorable. That would be called prime. But I do know that this does factor. And what happens is, is the signs. If we rearrange the signs, we put the plus here and a negative here, and we put a 4 here, and we put a 1 here. Let's see what happens. 4 times x gives you 4x, and 5x times negative 1 gives you negative 5x, which will give you negative x. And that's what you need to give you the linear term right here. And of course, the negative is still outside, so this is perfect. So our answer is negative 5, or negative parentheses, 5x plus 4 close parentheses, x take away 1. And again, this negative can be distributed if possible. We're going to change it here, negative 5x minus 4 and x minus 1. So that was a lot of work. That's the answer right here. That's a lot of work for trial and error. Um, we're going to do another one, but um, in part 2 and in part 3 we're going to explain 
how to do this problem in a different way, a more systematic way. So again, there's a lot of trial and error, but again, we're doing guessing. The next trinomial we're going to do is another one that's uh, time consuming. Now this one we don't have to factor out a negative from the x squared term. So again, this is a trinomial, so we need two binomials. Um, you notice that this is 2x squared, so the only factor of 2 is 2 and 1, so this is going to be 2x and x, 2x times x gives you 2x squared, and 15, well, it has um, factors of 3 and 5, and also 15 and 1. So let's try 3 and 5, but before we do that, let me put the signs negative from the linear term, negative times negative is positive. And we've got to find the two factors that go in here. We'll say 3 and 5. Let's see if that works. 2x times x gives you 2x squared. And 3, negative 3 times 5 gives you negative 15. That's fine. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And 2x times 5 gives you 10x, which gives you 7x positive 7x and so that's not the linear term fine let's try again we'll just switch them around instead of the 3 we'll put the 5 here and then we'll put the 3 here let's see what happens uh, 2x times x gives you x squared negative 5 times 3 gives you negative 15 and here it's going to be negative 5x and this right here is going to give me 6x, uh oh, that gives you 1x plus 1x. That's not going to work either. So, another thing we can do is we can switch the signs. We can switch the signs. We can have positive over here and then a negative here. And we'll keep the 5 here and then the 3. Let's see what happens. So this will give me 5x. This will give me negative 6x. That's going to give me negative 1x. Still doesn't give me the negative 7 that I need. So again, let's do it one more time. 2x plus 3 and x take away 5. So 2x times 2x is 2x squared. And 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. So 3 times x is 3x. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 10x. Gives me negative 7x. And that's it. We found it. We had to go through different versions of the problem. But we got it. So the answer is 2x plus 3. x minus 5. And there's only one answer because we don't have to deal with any negative. So the point is, guessing takes a little bit of patience. Sometimes it'll, it'll go very fast, sometimes it won't. Uh, you'll notice that if you have a coefficient that's not 1, you have to go through this process of guessing a little more than usual. And when we do uh, completing the square by grouping, or should I say grouping, not completing the score, but just grouping, you'll be able to do these much faster.